Kane and hello everybody and today I'm just going to really do a tutorial uh, about software instruments for GarageBand. Um, for this you'll need more or less one thing, I, a Mac and a GarageBand. So that's one thing to put together. Um, it doesn't matter what version of GarageBand you have, I've got iLife 11 so obviously it's the 11th version. Um, and the other thing you need is a USB keyboard. Now, USB keyboards, you can basically go and buy a MIDI keyboard or whatever and buy a MIDI lead. Um, just go to somewhere like Maplin or wherever, and you probably could find a USB keyboard, and then there is one for £59. But if you're music folk, you probably know, uh, you probably already have a USB keyboard. So, you want to go into Safari, and this is just to show you how to get more software instruments. And uh, you go up here and type in Ben Bolter like that, and then just click on it, zoom out, and then click the top one where it's software instrument downloads. And then what you can do is download each pack. I've downloaded that one, that one, and that one. So uh, I've downloaded these. There's no real point for the trumpets and cellos. If you go down the page, it tells you what each pack has. Um, you can pay if you want to, because these sounds are really good, um, but depends if you want to really pay. So, uh, yeah, download these, I would definitely suggest, these three, um, because the trumpet and the cello are not much good. So, uh, just download it, install it, doesn't matter where you install it. And then what you do is just go into GarageBand. So, here's GarageBand, I've just set it up. Um, and if I just play my piano, I don't know whether you can hear that, you probably can. And the, all the instruments that it's added are all the ones with bolt on the beginning. Um, and as you, as you can see on the side, there is quite a lot actually. There's none in the synthesizers, but you've got some really weird ones if you just listen. So, uh, it does come up, yeah, maybe they're a bit too weird, but, so, yeah, it, they're alright, um, they are high quality, but I've just got them really loud, and, and obviously you can then change the settings in the edit tab, turn, turn the echo down, and turn the reverb down, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to be, uh, but yeah, and you, obviously you can still use your old, the old ones that you have, I, I like the rock kit, because that's a rock, if you want to make a simple beat. Yeah, you can you can do a lot, but some of the drum kit sounds and stuff like that are actually better. There's no added bass sound, which is probably a bit of a, a, a big no-no because you need a bass. I'm sorry if you've got a, a, a 2.1 surround sound uh, speaker system because I'll probably just put in the amp, but uh, in the bass, um, I think I just have it on my. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so thanks for watching, that's really how to get some more software instruments and that's just showing you what software instruments you get. Obviously you get quite a few more. I'd probably say I've definitely got over a hundred now. Um, so thanks for watching and goodbye.